We're now going to move on to look at the here doc syntax, which makes it a little easier for, to, for us to output large chunks of text where we want to mix up single quotes, double quotes and the complex uh, expressions that we might need to output within a string. So basically, um, the here doc syntax has a very, very odd looking syntax. But once you're used to it, once you fundamentally understand it, it's going to make outputting within it a lot easier. So we'll go ahead and look at how the syntax looks, some careful considerations that we, we need to be careful of, uh, and then we'll look at mixing up single quotes, double quotes, and, uh, and complex expressions. So to create a, uh, or to create a here doc string, if you like, um, we're going to go ahead and create a variable. Uh, we'll just say string in this case. Now, the syntax does look strange. It's three less than signs, then an identifier, much like you'd find in a variable. So it can't start, for example, with an integer, anything like that. We want to start with a string. Uh, you might typically see it EOD, something like that, output like that. But we can choose anything we like, really. So, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. We'll use EOD for now just because uh, it seems to be um, listed in the documentation as an example like this. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to look at a consideration here because this 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 is actually entirely valid syntax, but it will error. So what we'd normally be able to do is just output, for example, a value in between this. Now, what's going to happen now is we will get an error in the browser, and I'll explain that in just a moment. When we refresh, we see that we get this error. Now, it doesn't make too much sense um, in terms of the actual error itself, but basically with this syntax, we need a new line after... Um, the the ending identifier and before it as well. So this would also be invalid. So it needs to have a new line identifier here. So we've come down a new line and then it needs a new line identifier afterwards. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to close the PHP tags here. We, you can see we've opened one. Um, we've never really closed these because we didn't need to. But now I guess is a perfectly valid time to close these. Um, and of course, if you didn't, you could just come down a new line like this. Now, you'd probably struggle to find um, that this would be a problem in a normal application because you're never really going to have a page that just contains an output like this um, with no... Uh, line break after or new line after the ending identifier so you'll never really find this a problem but if you do come across this error that's why so now if we return to the browser and hit refresh you can see that we don't have an error now we're not actually outputting anything at the moment so what we could do is either down here output string uh, which will output the contents of this variable which is our um, our here doc syntax and the contents so that outputs Alex or we could just go ahead and pop an echo just before this so what we're doing is we're setting a variable uh, to this value and we're also echoing it out as well and of course what we could do is just remove the variable declaration altogether and just output what we have here so now let's take a look at what we can actually do within this uh, syntax so First of all, it's useful to note that we can multi-line without it looking a mess. We can, of course, multi-line with a normal um, normal output like this. Like this. Um, but it does look a little messy. So if we use this syntax, we can just uh, use this and output what we want. And it's useful for outputting, say, chunks of HTML that would otherwise look a little messy. Like this. So, um, in the case of mixing up single quotes, double quotes, and complex expressions, um, here doc basically behaves like a double quoted string, um, but obviously we don't have double quotes, so there's no need to escape them. So in this case, what we can do is we can say, my name is Alex, and I live in London. It doesn't make much sense in terms of the double and single quotes, but it does give us an idea of what we can do within the here doc syntax. So if you find yourself having to escape, maybe switch between single and double quotes concatenating, and it starts to look a little messy, you'll probably agree that this looks a lot, lot cleaner. So what we can also do is we'll say we'll define this array that we defined in the last tutorial, and we can say something like and I am or I'm 
Now we still need to use our complex syntax, we still need to use our curly braces, but we can then define um, an age in here. So we can mix these up without it looking a complete and utter mess. So that is basically the Hidox syntax. Um, you know, there are some considerations, but there's a lot of information in the PHP manual if you go ahead and, and look that up. So that's how we output things. There are, as we've seen, some limitations, but if you find yourself um, mixing up single quotes, double quotes, complex expressions, anything like that, then it makes sense to go ahead and use the Hidox syntax.